Hi, Dad. What game are we playing today? We are playing Corsio. Corsio? Yeah. It's a game about triangles. That's what it looks like, huh? It's a two-player abstract strategy game, and it's pretty cool. I like it because it's one that still keeps me thinking. It's not one that I've figured out yet and dominated, but still get beat, and that's what keeps me getting back to it because I think it's just so interesting. So, yeah, that's a fun one. I'll show you how it is. Fun. Let's see. Well, in Corsio, what you're trying to do is get rid of the other player's pieces. So one's going to be white, one will be black. And the white pieces could only move on the white spaces, and the blacks could only move on the black spaces. Okay. You think this is a board, but it's actually made up of all these individual tiles. Mm -hmm. So as you play and as you remove pieces from the board, the board is actually going to shrink because pieces will get removed from the board as they get vacated. So. It's pretty cool in that way because it keeps you thinking differently and as the, as it gets tighter and tighter with less pieces, it gets fun because the game physically gets tighter and tighter. So it's pretty cool. So as I mentioned, you go side to side. So on your turn, you can move just to an adjacent color, white to white, for example. The way you capture another piece is by surrounding it. So for example, if these pieces are here, white moves in, black gets captured, is removed from the board. It's as simple as that. Mm. However, if black were to move in a spot that's already enclosed, it does not capture it. So if it's black's turn and he moves in, he can't capture yourself. But if white moves away and moves back, now he's captured again and, and he's gone. That's unfortunate. Yeah, too bad for him. Now, another thing to show you, let's say we've got this down here. We'll show you how a tile is removed. So if I move this white in here, this tile is now removed because it has three or less adjacent pieces or edges touching the board. Hmm. So then that gets removed and that's how the tile shrinks. This one, for example, if this were back here and I remove this in, even though this tile is now vacated, it's got four edges touching the board so it is not removed. So it stays in place. If that were moved first, then I move this one, this is removed. Now and this one is down to three spots, so that gets removed, so I would capture both of these two tiles. Chain which reaction. Which is great. Do you Absolutely. get any points for capturing four tiles, or is it just... The cool thing about these tiles is instead of moving on your turn, you can turn in two tiles to remove an opponent's piece. Wow. So yes, you're going to want to, not only are you going to want to figure out how to capture each other's piece, but you're also going to want to see when to vacate, because the person that vacates that tile they get to capture it um, like that. So I can turn in two pieces and now say that guy is removed. Or if I look like I'm in a tough predicament and I'm in some pe in some sections where it looks like Black's about to make a move to take my piece, then I'll remove one of those so he's down a little bit. So capturing tiles is great that way. The other thing I should mention is that the edge of the board also counts as uh, being enclosed. So if I move into here, I know there's no white piece over here, but black is now enclosed, so he would move. So an edge of the board is also going to count towards being enclosed. Or okay. likewise, move over here and capture that. The same thing applies if I move a tile off the board, and by removing a piece, so for example, if a black was there, and, I have, and that piece was there, oops, it's going to be like this. Say he had moved into there safely. If I move off of here, and now I remove this piece, now He's now enclosed. he now is enclosed, so tricky. His piece would come off. So little by little, you whittle down. You get in there. All these pieces are going to be moving. You're going to eventually get to you know, where all these pieces are out of board. You're down to adjust the last few pieces, and you're jockeying for position, trying to figure out who's going to move off to get those last tiles. Because now it gets tight. You're definitely going to want to have some tiles to be able to turn in and remove their piece. As it gets down, there's two ways to win. Either you take their last piece. Or they resign. If you're in a situation where you look like, you know, I'm down to I'm down to two pieces against your four. There's no way I'm going to be able to capture those. Okay, I'll I'll you win. So you can resign that way. Looks like a fun challenge right. two against four. Yeah, it is. Very good tiles. Uh, it's a very good game. All right. What would you rate it? I rate it a four. I like these two-player abstract strategy games that that cause me to think in different ways. So uh, definitely a high score for Coercio. It's a game we've had for a while, and I like it, but I've got another little surprise for you. Because 
we have another copy of Coercio, as you can see, still in shrink, that we are giving away. So we'll put some uh, instructions up on our website of how you can enter to win this copy of Coercio, and we will ship this uh, worldwide. So everybody per can participate, uh, even globally, and we'll put the instructions online. So if it looks something interesting to you, then uh, go ahead and get in on the contest uh, to win a prize. All right. Thanks, Dad.